Hi, I'm Eric Sorensen, author of Sorensen's Guide to Power Boats. We're here today aboard Grady White's new 255 dual console. Grady White has been redefining the family recreational experience with a new generation of dual consoles. These boats are built on Grady White's saltwater heritage of quality, safety, and a great running CV2 hull. Versatility is built right into every one of these boats, fishing, cruising, and water sports. Let's have a closer look. Now on the bow of the Grady White 255, you can get up here, it's all one level on this boat, the cock, from the cockpit up to the bow seating area. You can fish from up here, plenty of room to cast, or just go along for the ride. You know, Grady White customers have been asking for lots of seating, and that's what the 255 delivers. You can add bolsters like this boat has here. The cushions look great, they're comfortable, accented colors, they really look upscale. You can see along the side here we have long recessed handrails, which really add a measure of safety up here. In addition to that, you're sitting down inside the bow area here. You're not up on top of it because the hull has so much freeboard, which makes the boat more seaworthy, makes it safer in here for the whole family. Along with a smooth riding hull, you can't beat the Grady White ride in the bow of this boat. There's plenty of storage area forward on the 255. To port is an 80 quart dry storage box. And then to starboard, it's a 165 quart insulated cooler. Both of these boxes drain directly overboard by gravity. In the bow, the insert lifts right out. So you can walk all the way up to the bow of the boat, open up the anchor locker. Clear access to the anchor makes it safe and easy, no back strain. And there's clips that hold the anchor right in place, no rattling around when you're out on the water. A pair of 316 stainless steel 8-inch bow cleats give you plenty of mooring options. And also the details, the cup holders. There's four of them up here. And the speakers are even up nice and high, so you hear the sound clearly when the boat's out on the water. An optional table can be set up in the bow for lunchtime or for an evening cocktail cruise. Now for the sun worshippers and the crew, the bow area converts to a full sun deck forward with the optional cushion set up. Take the cushions off and you've got yourself a casting platform. At the helm of the 255, you can see that Grady White has really perfected the art of helm ergonomics over the years. First of all, sitting down here, very high windshield. I'm looking through glass, I'm not looking through the windshield frame. Lots of protection here. You can see that the centerline door closes up. And when I stand up, I can come over here close this window, and now I'm protected from the elements. What else do we have? We can stand here at the wheel and drive the boat. Plenty of room here between the seat and the steering wheel, which, which is a really great feature because you don't want to be sitting all the time when you're driving a boat or standing. This gives you the flexibility. Also, the height and the angle of the steering wheel and the engine controls just right at the right angle. Very comfortable to use. Over here, plenty of room for electronics right here on the side to the side of the wheel. The Yamaha digital gauge up here clearly visible, as is the compass. And then the rocker switches, they're backlit so you can see them easily at night. And also the horn switch, the most important one, is colored orange so that it stands out in your peripheral vision as you're driving the boat. The standard deluxe helm chair and companion chairs are vertically and horizontally adjustable. The seating throughout the 255 including this optional sleeper seat that extends to a lounge position, is as comfortable and handsome as Grady White has offered. There's even more storage on the 255. Down here below the helm console, lots of dry storage. You can put your life jackets or clothes or whatever you want down there, plenty of room. Over here is another storage box underneath the steering wheel. And over here on the port side below the console is a bonus. The whole family will be happy all day long out on the water with a head compartment. This boat has a portable head with a macerator and pump out and a holding tank. Plenty of room down there. It's comfortable to enter at an angle the way this door is designed. Inside is net storage, a mirror, toilet paper dispenser, an overhead light, and a towel bar. It's a great design. It really makes this a great boat out on the water for the whole day. Now one great option to consider on the Grady White 255 is this hard top. Gives you great protection from the elements. Also, overhead storage in these net bags for life jackets. Rod holders are available. 
spreader lights, and integrated speakers. The cockpit on the 255 is wide open, lots of room back here, 60 square feet. The boat has a CV2 hull, it's very stable whether you're at the dock or out on the water. The non-skid is perfect, it's just aggressive enough to keep you from slipping and sliding, and it's very comfortable to kneel on and it's a cinch to keep clean. It's one of the things that makes this a boat that's so easy to live with. Under the sides, under the rails, over here we have tow rails and tow kicks. So your balance, you're always going to be on balance on this boat. Back aft here we also have rod holders, two per side, three rod racks per side underneath the gunnels. And back here, just after the helm seat are a couple of options. There's going to be a wet bar with storage and the trash container below, or you can get the boat with an electric grill. Back aft here in the cockpit on the Grady White 255, the engineers have really thought of everything. The st uh, stern cleats on this boat, they're recessed just a little bit to keep them out of the way. They're made out of 316 stainless steel, so very high quality stainless, eight inches long, plenty big for a boat this size. The scuppers, this two per side, they're flush with the deck, so this deck will drain completely, it'll be easy to hose down, and it'll also drain quickly, which makes it that much more seaworthy. Back aft here on the port side, it's a battery switch, right where it should be, where it's easy to get to, and there are instructions right on the door. The transom seat is patented by Grady White, and for really good reason, it's the best in the industry. I've never seen a better one. Back here we have a, a storage box, which is insulated, drains over the side like the other storage boxes on a Grady White. This one's rigged up as an optional live well, 26 gallons. It's got an 1,100 gallon per hour pump, a full column distribution system so the water is evenly distributed inside for extended bait life. And it's just a great design right here where you need it when you're fishing. This boat will fish just as well as any center console the way it's rigged up. Back here we have a deck hatch right over the fuel tank so if you ever need to inspect it, you have full access to it, quick and easy. Works great. Over here we have a transom shower. Just pull, open this up and pull it out and there you go. You can take a shower with fresh water right on the transom of the boat. And finally back aft, a transom door. This is made out of closed molded fiberglass. Very strong, very rugged hardware. It opens right up for access to the, to the water here. The boarding ladder, you can deploy it from either from the, from the water or from the boat very easily, quickly. And you can even use it to haul a big fish aboard if you like to. All in all, just a terrific design. Now the 255 comes with a choice of Yamaha four-stroke power options. You can get it with twin 150s, a single 300 V6, or a single 350 V8. Now for more information on the 255, go to GradyWhite.com for specifications, including optional equipment and performance data. For direct comparison information with other boats in its class, see your Grady White dealer.